Welcome back to Power BI Helpline. Let's talk about breaking circular dependencies in Power BI. If you are new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified. Let's check it out. All right. We know that if calculated columns are dependent to each other, it will create a circular dependency error. But I am going to show you three examples where we don't see such dependency and still we get circular dependency errors. First of all, I will create a calculated column for total sales. Here I can use some X to iterate over this sales table to get the total sales. But we also know that this function will return the overall sales on each row of this table. So we need to wrap this entire expression within a calculate function to get the correct total sales for each row. While doing this, have you ever thought about a very big problem which it can create? And that is called circular dependency. Let me show you with the help of another calculated column, high low sales. Inside this calculated column, we will just validate if total sales is higher than 1000 or not. If yes, it will return high, else it will return low. As that you can see, it is throwing a circular dependency error. This column is dependent on total sales column, but my total sales column is not dependent on this high low sales column. So why I am getting this circular dependency error? In another example, if I copy the same DAX expression and try to create one more duplicate column using the same expression, I am not able to create the second column. I again get the same circular dependency error. But how is this possible? It is working fine in my total sales column, but here it is throwing this error. Don't worry, today we will solve all of them. But let us see one more example of this error, which is different than this scenario. For that, I am going to create a calculated table, and this table will have all the products which is red colors. I can use filter function and values function to create such tables. Product color I can mention red, so that I will have a product table which is only red color. This will create circular dependency while creating relationship between product table and this table. Let's see that. So, if I create the relationship from product table to this red products table, I don't see any problem, but same is not true. If I create this relationship from red product table to product table, and I again get the same circular dependency error, or even if I want to change the cardinality to one to many, I will again get the circular dependency error. So here, what is the reason of such errors? Let's now start solving them from our first example. In our total sales column, we have used a calculate function, which is here used for context transition. A context transition means it takes all items from each row which are part of row context and convert them into an equivalent filter context. It means while recalculating, it is also considering the later created column, which is high and low sales. So it may not let you create any other columns. I can use a remove filter function on high low sales so that it will not be included in the context transition and I will not see the error for this column. But this error will be still there in my third column, which is just a duplicate of total sales. I am refreshing this calculation, and I am able to calculate the high and low sales. As said, here in this column, even if I will use the same expression, it will give the same circular dependency error. A better solution for such errors is to use all except function, and inside that, we need to use a key column on which we wanted aggregate total sales, for example, on order ID, product ID or customer ID. So, in my total sales column, I will replace this remove filter function with all except order ID column in this example. Whenever you need to use calculate function inside your calculated column, you should be careful about this because it is going to take all future calculated columns for context transition. This solution is very efficient as that you can see, if I will copy the same DAX expression in my duplicate total sales column, it will not throw any error. Because this time, it is using only order ID column and converting it into filter context. In this last example, we have used values function, which creates a dependency on the blank row. So, a better solution is to use all non-blank row function or distinct function, which will not add any blank row for invalid relationships. As that you can see, after replacing values function, I am able to create one to many or many to one relationship between my product and red products table. As said, in place of all non-blank row, 
you can also use distinct function, which will give you the same results. And again, you can easily create one-to-many or many-to-one relationship between these table without any circular dependency. You should be careful because many DAX functions internally uses values function like selected value. You should replace them accordingly. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel for many such interesting solutions in Power BI.